Hello, this is not a spring shake, and President Obama does his first official press conference of the year. And well, let's just say if he doesn't want to answer your question, well, he'll get back to you. He needs to answer this one first. Oh, yes. That does happen. Is that how? Well, I guess that's a presidential blow off, right? <laughs> anyway, we're going to bring all the on with comments on the headlines of today. Girl smell. Because you don't get it because. The, oh. Okay. Obama's 2012 budget saves $1.1 trillion, cuts a deficit, and no budget in the nation's history has tackled the problems like this budget. It didn't impress the press today. It didn't impress the Democrats, didn't impress the Republicans, didn't get, skipped over people at his press conference and asked him the serious questions because he, he didn't cut anything, folks. He, he's spending, he's cutting hundreds of millions of dollars out of things. And he's also cutting, he's, what it is, he's raising taxes by $600 billion, cutting the defense budget by $500 billion, and that's discretionary spending he's cutting by $100 billion, of which he increased by a trillion dollars. So they said there's no budget. He actually, this budget is higher than his last budget, which was serious? the highest budget ever in the history of this nation. Report Representative Gifford's mouth song lyrics and talked on the phone. Okay. Anybody you know, anybody said, I believe that. I mean, I really believe that she's doing all of these things. Uh, you know, first of all, they have made a point. If she is in such good shape, why are they hiding her? Um, You'd have her trotted out, you know, just sitting in a, in a chair with the, you know, with the bandage over the head and everything. It means they're lying through their teeth, folks. I mean, for all practical purposes, all anybody knows, Representative Gifford could have died. And they're going to have her die while he's up in outer space on the space shuttle. Diet soda tied to stroke risk, but reasons unclear. Well, it's probably because artificial sweeteners. Oh, well, yeah. they do. No. Actually, I know a lot of pilots do not drink diet drinks. I know, so because it's bad for you. I can't stand the taste of them myself. I don't, I don't like the aftertaste. Yeah. Um, but you know what? There's a lot of people that do, and they drink the diet drinks. Yeah, but they say that a person that is fat drinks more diet drinks than they drink the other drinks. Well, because they don't drink the other drinks. I know. No, but oh, you no. mean as if they were to drink the other ones. If they were to drink the other drink, in proportion, they, they drink like twice as many diet drinks, which are bad for them, as they would if they were just drinking the other drink. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. Yeah. That so, the heavier people tend to do, and it's like, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Yeah. Um, Obama's high-speed rail faces political challenge. Well, okay. The, the nine billion dollars for the high-speed rail and for a billion dollars a mile in California between two cities that don't need a rail service because there's virtually no one there and it has to go through lands that the uh, Bureau of Land Management is not going to let them have and the Sierra Club won't let them touch so mm -hmm. they said his whole high-speed rail system it depended upon the Sierra Club allowing it to be built it's not going to be built they already the uh, they said Congress has already stripped the whole nine and a half billion that was going to be spent in California stripped out of the budget already. Banner says the U.S. handled the Egypt crisis as best it could. Well, they basically handled it very badly. I mean, Obama was all over the map. The whole world knows that it was. But now they're saying Obama's speech gave heart to all the people in the Middle East. Well, they're. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try doing it in simple terms. The military put Mubarak in. The military kicked Mubarak out. The military who wrote the Constitution is writing the new Constitution. So has there been a change in government? Just oh, people. imagine that. Just figureheads. Figureheads is all it is. It's still a military dictatorship. New drilling method opens vast oil fields in the U.S. That is, if they were going to be allowed to do it. And they're not going to because Obama, Obama wants to strangle our country and put it on a green energy thing, of which... Green energy doesn't work without petroleum, folks. Mm -hmm. It isn't. You can't make the parts that they have to put into the things to make the green energy without petroleum products. And he won't allow petroleum to be done in this country. Which the first thing that's going to happen when he's out of office is that they will restart all the drilling. Oh, new report warns energy drinks are dangerous for kids and teens. Well, they're because they're full of sugar is what they are. They're. Your energy drink has got like ta tablespoons of sugar in it, which is funny. That's what gives you the energy. Mexico angry at U.S. officials' insurgency remark. Well, because it's happening. I mean, 
But remember, Obama and the Napolitano said there are no problems in Mexico along the borders. Unfortunately, the people that live along the borders all tell you there's problems at the borders. Mm -hmm. Police probe taxi crash that injured 25 outside of San Diego Club. Well, they said that the taxi driver was unhappy with the world. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. A Mexican journalist firing stirs a controversy. Well, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, okay, that's not, a, okay. Mexico never has, never will be a real democracy as we understand democracy because they basically, some, one, some person or another rule, ruled Mexico for hundreds of years. Raising taxes on business will actually result in a net gain of jobs. I mean, that's the Obama administration on his budget. He's raising taxes on all the businesses in the country. Actually, they're not they're investments, and if you don't want to invest, then they're going to have to tax you. And the, so you're going to have <clears throat> less money. Less money means you're not going to hire as many people. And then it's going to go to green jobs that can't even be started for another five years. So that's less people working in the economy, period. And you lose four jobs for every one green job created. So that's that's a no-brainer there either. And that brief time out from heated discourse, no more. Well, the Republicans did it naturally. Well, of course I, they I, did. I, I, I've seen nothing but one Democrat after another, you know, since it happened, attacking the Tea Party stuff. I mean, they basically they're doing the hypocrisy thing with Obama today. You know, when he says, I believe that every every group should have the ability to speak out if they don't like their country. They just said, what about the Tea Party? Well, I think that they've done a service to this country. Didn't you call them Nazis? Didn't you call them un-American? Didn't you? And he said, I never at any time said anything disparaging about the Tea Party. And they said, yeah. yeah. And they're snickering out there. I mean, <laughs> he's lost the mainstream press, folks, because they, he has no ability to rally anybody anymore except black voters. Conservatives clout flummoxes House GOP leaders. Uh, because the House GOP doesn't want to change anything from the way it was before. They just want to, you bring a spending bill up. I mean, these people could only find $61 billion to cut out of the budget. All you got to do is to freeze it at 2-8 two, two level, put it back to 2-8, and you trimmed a billion, a trillion dollars out of the budget. A trillion. In mm -hmm. one full swoop of the pen, you trimmed a trillion. Well, that's going to hurt the economy, going to hurt people. Well, no, because they said 1.7 trillion hasn't even been spent yet. And Japan confirms China surpassed its economy in 2010. That bigger country. Mm -hmm. There's like a tr two trillion people, two billion. People. I know. They got like eight, 80 million in the other country, so I think they got a bigger economy all the time. Than well, and there's so many things that are made in China now. Yeah. And Obama to propose cuts in heating aid. Ooh, yeah, his cuts in are. Heating aid? I'm going to take 1% out of the budget. He, of course, he gave him a 39% increase last year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. And Verizon to sell Sony Ericsson's PlayStation phone. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, the phone battles are really going, well, screw you. Though. LG's got a 3D camera, with a 3D cell phone with a 3D camera. Who's going to carry that one? Uh, let's see, nobody at the moment. LG, um, Nokia is basically in trouble for going, for making a deal with Microsoft. And so all the phone companies have just got problems, huge problems, because they basically maxed out on all the phones they could sell. Well, the phones get expensive. How many people do you know that have phones with cracked um, screens. That's right. I mean, it's we all we can't over. afford to get new phones, folks. And the phones, the economy, like the latest thing, uh, you know, only going to cost you one hundred and ninety nine dollars, and you get a three hundred dollar phone card back. Uh, you're still paying five hundred dollars for the phone. Mm hmm. And speaking of phone companies, Nokia CEO company to get billions from Microsoft. And that's under question because the company stockholders don't want Nokia. They don't want the Microsoft system on their phones because the Microsoft system. Is incompatible with virtually anything out there. Ooh, Democratic leaders, um, U USA must accept we are no longer great. I know, isn't that a great one? I mean, the Dem this is, you know, that we're we're basically a guy last night. We're a third-rate country, and we always have been. But the, oh, you know, what the Dem Republicans have done, you know, that civil discourse. What the Republicans have done have made us even weaker. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Well, actually, this is stealing from another song. You can't be with the one you want to be with the one you're with.